こんにちは。僕はネスタでございます。どうぞよろしくはじめまして。Hello, my name is Nestor and I have a long connection with Japanese culture. I have visited Japan on four occasions. I speak some Japanese and I love Japanese movies and cartoons. I have an interest in Japanese culture because Japanese people, as opposed to Westerners, have a different outlook on music, theater, rituals, family, business, and cuisine. They also have a different etiquette and norms of behavior because it is affected by this. Their philosophy and belief system can be appreciated in things such as the creation of bonsais, the ritual of the tea ceremony, and also in the development of high performance cars, trains, and electronic devices. What I admire the most of Japanese culture is their, their determination to excel and their incredible discipline. When I was a little child growing in Colombia, South America, I loved cartoons. My favorite TV program was Genko Kamen. Genko Kamen in Japanese or Senteja in Spanish is or was rather the hero that rode a motorcycle. He wore a helmet, goggles, a white cape, and his badass motorcycle. And with his mad skills in fighting, his whip, his gun, and his stars, he would capture the villains in the city and brought order and peace to everybody around. This got me hooked. With regards to the language, Nihongo in Japanese, I have always been attracted to it. I have a beginner level knowledge and I speak, read, and write. It is very interesting for me to realize that Japanese did not only borrow the pictographic and ideographic representation of words made characters from China, which the Japanese called kanji, but they also created two different versions of writing、uh, for their phonetic expression. For words that are Japanese, it is called hiragana, and for words that are foreign, it is called katakana. As I mentioned before, I have been to Japan on four occasions, primarily with the United States Marine Corps and to Okinawa, but I have also visited the mainland. I have been to Tokyo and Mount Fuji. When I was in Japan, I was incredibly surprised by the level of development of the buildings. The architecture is way further than in the United States. And when looking at the buildings in Japan, I could see that sometimes, or at least this is how I appreciate it, I thought that they would be many centuries ahead of their American counterparts. Because I have enjoyed my time in Japan, I can perceive myself staying in the future for a one year program,、uh, whereas I would teach English. As I mentioned, ever since I was a little child, I, had a, I came in touch with the Japanese culture. I have to thank my friend Kohei from Yokohama, who was my classmate in elementary school. And who introduced me to manga at a young age. Years later, I would also play games on Japanese consoles such as Sega and Nintendo. The games that I hold most dear to my heart are Shinobi and, of course, Mario Bros. Nonetheless, I do not consider myself a weak. How was I changed by Japanese culture? Well, coming in touch with people from a different culture than yours is always an eye opener. And for me, it was no different. So, when I saw that there were people that could think and behave in a way different than me, I decided that this was a, an incredible opportunity for me to also discover other cultures and see what they were all about. So, not only did it pique my interest in Japanese culture, it also made me gain interest. 
in people from all over the world. And as we know, language is the way that culture can better be understood. So this increased my interest in learning Japanese, but also in learning other languages. There is the concept that many people have that there is this process called Japanization, whereas the Japanese way takes over. I believe that this is a little bit a radical way of believing. I don't think it's all that way. But um, what I do realize is that when people are exposed to other cultures, there is much of a little bit of give and take. So for that matter, for instance, if you take a word exchange or word borrowing, that does take place between people from different cultures. And Japan is no different. If you observe the Japanese vocabulary, it has a lot of imported words from all over the world. Also, there has been a great appreciation for Japanese cuisine throughout the US and the whole world. Uh, it, is, it, it is very normal to realize that uh, people are eating sushi and sashimi all over the place. I particularly enjoy something called taco, which is octopus. Here in the United States, there I live in Los Angeles, and uh, there are two places in particular that have the, the have a lot of Japanese people living in them. A uh, significant population lives in Little Tokyo, and also in Soteo. I believe that Americans do like Japanese culture. And the reason being is because Japanese culture is a prime example of um, faith, revitalization, and growth. And when one believes in oneself and strengthens his core or her core and fills themselves with energy, then maintaining an innovative and creative uh, condition of their, of, their, of their thoughts and persevering in their intentions, then they will go out of the dark uh, moments and into the brightest times. Something that I have noticed with regards to Japanese culture is that there is a lot of ceremony or ceremonious regard with, regard, with uh, actions and also speech. Let's say, for instance, let's take the example of speech. There are three w ways to address people. It depends if you're talking to someone that is younger than you, someone that is your same age, or if this person is an elder. Uh, also, it should be noted that it's very important to know business etiquette. Because with regards to business, being or not being aware of this etiquette could mean the difference between sealing a deal, or coming up empty-handed. What would I tell someone who has not been acquainted with Japanese culture? I would tell them to get acquainted, to go out and discover and find out, be open-minded and learn, as I would recommend them to be open-minded and learn about other cultures as well. With, particular, with Japanese culture in particular, I would say that uh, I appreciate cinema. And one prime example is Kurosawa and his movie Run, which I really liked. So when you watch a movie, you appreciate and you observe the train of thought and the personality of the director, the author of the movie, but also of the people and the culture from which he has extracted himself, where he comes. So in that manner, like for instance with the movie Ram, I was able to appreciate Buddhism as expressed in the movie and also the importance of theater in Japan. Not only this, but I observed the use of cinematics of, to express the emotion through the cinematography. And that is very, used very differently in Japan as opposed to 
over here in the West. Also, I would also uh, encourage people to learn the language. Why not? Nowadays, it's very easy. You can use your apps on your phone. You can watch movies or TV shows uh, through different streaming platforms. You can learn songs on the internet. You can uh, get together and in groups for language exchange, virtual groups, say for instance on Facebook, like one I, I belong to, or else, uh, yeah, if there's no COVID, of course, maybe it's easier. Um, live encounters in your local community. And let's not forget about the opportunity that is provided by schools and universities to do uh, an exchange program abroad. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you very much for enjoying this um, interview that I have answered. And um, please do learn more about Japan. Okay, see you next time.